What up, everybody? Sven Diesel here. We're going to be tying up Sven's straggle sow. Um, it's a variation of the Utah killer bug, sow bug, uh, scuds. Um, I can tie them in a bunch of different colors uh, using primarily the straggle string, hence the name. But we're going to start with a Stealth C14. Uh, got it in the, in the vise. I'm going to be using 0.015 lead wire to weigh it down. I do about 6 to 12 wraps depending on, you know, how quick I want it to get down in the water and also the size of hook. Do about 10 and I'll leave the tag end on the back. Uh, it's kind of a habit for me now. And I'll show you why in a second. But let's start our thread in the front, build up a little bit of thread base. Uh, so that this lead will kind of butt up against it and then work our way back to the back end do a couple wraps and then pull down that tag end wrap over it two three times and it will just snip right out and then I'll go over the lead at 45 degree angles as not to you know go in between the lead and cause it to you know go all screwy on me but uh, we don't need to worry too much about building up tapering to that lead because we're going to add a few materials so let's snip out that tag end now. Our thread is up towards the front and uh, I'm going to be tying in some 6x uh, tippet. Just something I had left over from last season and uh, we're going to be using it for our uh, ribbing. And so tie it in trying to keep that on the top of the shank and uh, work our way back down the uh, the hook shank into the bend and uh, we're going to be tying in uh, some oyster two strands of this uh, this is a uh, Shetland's uh, spin drift and uh, we'll tie it in and make sure you start a little bit back um, as to not keep those fibers from interfering with the eye and I'm really watching to see how far back down I go I kind of want it to go a little bit down the bend um, and uh, match up making sure I keep that uh, tippet underneath and uh, now we'll go back up towards the front and we'll now tie in the straggle string. Uh, this comes in um, a bunch of different colors. Some have UV properties, some do not. And um, I'm going to be using pink for this particular um, one. So let's take a small little uh, strip, of, or cut off a little bit of it and go ahead and tie it in. I'm still leaving enough space for building up a nice uh, head later but I'll tie it up and make sure those are secure with some nice uh, tight wraps and at this point I'll secure my thread um, and if you have a rotary vise you can uh, use the rotary feature at this point um, I'm just going to with the three materials just going to hand wrap it and as I uh, grab my straggle string that's the first uh, we're going to wrap down and I'm going to wrap it around with uh, touching wraps trying to cover up all that red and uh, uh, you can get real picky and not wrap over some of these uh, UV fibers or whatever, but uh, I, I think that's good right there. And so you want to leave about one or two wraps before the eye. Let's uh, tie it off doing a wrap behind and then a few wraps in front. And we'll uh, got to get this thread up the bobbin so it's tighter. There we go. And uh, we'll do secure it now and I'll do it a second time. And now I want to pull these, preen these fibers back uh, just to keep that eye nice and clean. So later when I'm fishing it and, you know, trying to get that tippet through and switching flies on the river, I don't have to worry about uh, bugging it up. And then I've been cleaning up the back a little bit because we're going to wrap that yarn, the uh, wool yarn, um, over the top of it. And this just kind of, I think, is trying a little bit to more match the hatch or, you know, make it more of a... A clean photo basically for you know social media purposes right um, you can you don't have to do that but let's build up the little bit of the head at this point um, it will save us time later and I want to take those two um, strands of wool and twist them up and as I come over the back I'm not going to have it tight at this point it's going to be a little bit loose and I'll explain why in a minute but let's secure it with a couple loose wraps check it looks good and then I'll secure it now in the front with a couple wraps and then go back and up and over. And then I'm going to use the, uh, I call it the Elkhair Caddis 45. Get it nice and flush cut. And now let's really clean up that head. Um, doing kind of a, I don't know, not a figure eight over that uh, yarn. But there is two pieces of yarn there that we got to clean up. And this head's a little bulkier than I like. But it is going to work and still catch fish. Now this is where I, why I uh, 
uh, left the uh, um, yarn loose, uh, not super tight, but it's you know it's tight. And as I come around with this tippet, I want to make sure it's on top, and then I want to pull super tight as to indent it down and segment this body. And it's kind of pushing the yarn over the entire top of this uh, bug, and I just every wrap it's tight making sure that that yarn is staying on top that it's not walking on me and as I get up close to the front I'll finish now uh, let's get one more and uh, come right onto my head and I'll go ahead and secure that tippet now with a wrap behind and a wrap in front and a wrap behind and a wrap in front and we can go ahead and snip that out at this point and we will uh, do a uh, whip finish now and uh, really at this point you're just let's make that head nice and clean so I'm going to do a few extra wraps around here trying to just that looks good sweet let's snip that out now let's uh, use some uh, UV resin some flow let it soak in for a minute and let it cure for 10 to 15 seconds and I'm going to put another little small dab on the bottom just to really hold it all together and there is our bug pretty cool now let's brush out the top make it look a little bit more buggy and uh, using that yarn to kind of blend into the straggle string and I mentioned earlier some of these straggle strings have a lot of UV properties. You can see this one just gets hit with that UV light. It's super visible, whereas the pink I tied up doesn't really have too much. But it's a super cool little pattern. Um, should fish well. So uh, let's uh, add it into the box and good luck.